Hello and welcome to this campus tour. I'm Nick and I'm a student advisor here at the Free University of Pozzo and Bolzano. You join me in front of our main campus in Pozzo and Bolzano in Universitätsplatz, Piazza Universita, where our main entrance is located and where usually um, this is quite a lively place where students chat mixing all the languages spoken on UniBZ and enjoy the famous Pozzo and Bolzano sun. Now let's get in and have a look at the main entrance. From here you can access the Unibar, a cafe where you can enjoy your Italian espresso, the Unimensa, a canteen with Italian, German and international cuisine, and you can also ask the welcome desk team for direction. They're always very happy to help. Now let's say you get lost so you don't remember um, what lecture you need to go to. The interactive board always says um, where to go and will tell you where your lecture will take place. Now follow me upstairs, let's go upstairs and have a look at the info point and the library. Now, this is some sort of meeting point for students in between lectures. There is our um, newspaper corner where you will always find German, Italian, English, Latin, French and Spanish, but also other languages, uh, newspapers from other languages. Uh, of course, today from the library catalogue, you can also access them uh, digitally from home, of course. The next place I want to show you is quite an important one for students. It is the info point. Um, the info point is a go-to place for all our students as it is the place where you can find information and counsel on your studies and information about things like language courses, internships, exchange programs and of course today because of the pandemic we're offering the InfoPoint services at home and you can book online appointments with us. Now let's have a look at another place which is next to the InfoPoint and it is the library. Let's go inside. The library is a multimedia centre that serves not only the university students, but also the local community. In fact, um, inside the libraries, which are located at all UniBZ campuses, you will find books, but you will also find a place to study as well as a place to do group projects in. Thanks to the university library, you will also have access to thousands of e-books and e-journals for your research and your studies, and you will be able also to join events um, about your research and so on. Um, furthermore, you will be able to find data in many international scientific databases. Now, after your application, let's say you gain admission. Of course, you will be happy, your family will be proud of you, and we will be ready to welcome you here at UniBZ. Your next step then will be enrolling to UniBZ. Enrolling to UniBZ is an important step because when you enroll, you become you become an official UniBZ student. This is quite important because after the application you gain admission, but then you also need to enroll to the university. And once you enroll, you will also be able to get your student card at the student secretariat. The student secretariat is the office for application, enrollments, as well as tuition fees. They manage student careers and issue certificates, diplomas, as well as diploma supplements. If you're only applying for a bachelor program, you probably don't yet know what a diploma supplement is. A diploma supplement is a diploma, is a document actually, that will be issued together with your diploma and we help you in your further academic studies in another European country. It contains all the information on the degree you did at UNIBZ, the exams, the qualification level and even the language levels you will, you will have reached. So it is a great tool to travel Europe academically. Now, studying at UNIBZ means a lot of practice and this um, ranges from interactive and case study based teaching methodologies to the actual use of labs and workshops for students. If you want to study design and art at UniBZ, you will like while I'm, what I'm about to show you. The faculty has some state of the art facilities where you can make your idea come alive. From the first idea through research concepts and prototypes to the final product, this is our Faculty of Design and Art Works. UniBZ design and our students develop their ideas in the ateliers upstairs where they work with professors and researchers with international background and then come down here to actually build them all on campus. There are workshops for wood, glass, metal, paper, plastic, printing and so many more. And access to them is of course for free for all our design and our students. Now we're outside and we're going back up to the main campus.
But first, studying at UniBZ doesn't only mean studying and doing research, it also means a lot of fun outside the university. And that's what student associations are there for. At present, we have six of them, and they're organizing um, loads of activities, ranging from sport tournaments, festival, city trips, winter events, and of course, a lot of parties. And don't tell your parents about that. One of these student associations is the Erasmus Student Network. They support so-called international um, outgoing and incoming exchange students. Um, if you study at UniBizad, you can go to Germany, you can go to Thailand, to the US, to Finland, to South America, to Australia, and many more countries in all continents except for Antarctica. All in all, we offer exchange programs with 140 Erasmus universities. Um, now, we're getting back inside. Uh, if you're all in one of our science and technology programs, you're going to like what I'm about to show you. And you're going to use the labs either here or at the Neue Tech Park. Let's have a quick look inside. great teaching comes from great research. Interdisciplinarity and sustainability together with a local and international focus characterize the scientific research carried out in our five faculties and in the competent centers of UniBZ. Now let's get out of the labs and let's have a look at our main lecture hall, our Alemania. It is where graduations take place and you might also follow some lectures there but most of all it is where your first day at UniBZ will take place. It is where you will probably meet all other freshers and maybe make friends from all over the world. Some of you will come from Italy, Southern Europe, some others from Germany and Austria and other Central European countries. Some will come from outside the EU. I still remember my first day at UniBZ as an economic student. I was sitting in one of these rows and in this very Olamagna, waiting for the freshest day to begin, I met some of my best friends today. Some of them Italian mother tongues, some German, some English. And this is exactly what is cool about UniBZ and what UniBZ is all about. Learning with people from all over Europe and switching languages continuously. Some of us call our language it English, a mixture of UniBZ official languages, which makes us all a big international family. Now, this is actually it. Um, I know that I haven't been able to show you everything, but I hope I gave you enough of an insight of how life at UniBZ is, and that we will one day be able to welcome you all in this Olamania for the start of your studies. Thank you for joining me and all the best for your future. And remember, open your mind, go trilingual, and see you at UniBZ. Thank you.